What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel. It's Cole and Jay, and today we're gonna be doing some land-based catfishing for you guys. And we're fishing a spot we haven't been to in a very long time. Uh, mainly because the lake has been super high and we haven't been able to fish here. Um, but both of us are feeling very optimistic with this one. We've caught some good catfish here in the past and the conditions seem to be pretty good. We have a lot of wind blowing onto this rocky point that we're on right here. And then out this way, there's a creek channel we're planning on casting some baits into. Um, the bait we're gonna be using today is some cut shad and some night crawlers, and then if we catch some bluegill, we might cut some bluegill up too, but we're gonna start off with the shad and night crawlers, see if we can catch some fish. Um, like I said, we're gonna throw some bottom baits out, and then we're gonna fish near shore on this rocky point with some live night crawlers. And like I said, we're both feeling pretty confident that we're gonna be able to catch some fish today, but if we don't catch anything here, we have some other spots in mind that we can check out to hopefully land some catfish. So guys, if y'all are excited for the catfishing video today, do us a huge favor, hit the thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, and let's get after it, Jay. Let's go. All right, so here we go. We got a piece of cut up gizzard shad here. We have a five bot circle hook. Let's chunk it out here into this creek channel and see if we can get a catfish to get on the line. Fish! Me, it's a me in it. Fish on! Fish on, fish on! He's on there. He's on there. Woo! That's crazy. That's crazy. Fish on. First catfish on. He's like about to get tangled up in my crap right here though. Oh, get over here. Oh, it's a good one. What the heck? That didn't take that long. Woo! Look at that catfish. Yeah, he came right in too. That's a big old catfish. Heck yeah. Just started casting with our worms. Let's get him over here. Come here, buddy. Oh, shoot. Gotcha. <laughs> Look at that. We got our first catfish. That was like, we weren't even really paying attention too good just then. We just started. I know, we just started casting on our little worms and uh, this guy about took the pole in the water. That's a nice channel cat. That did not take very long at all. The bait probably sat out there about 10 minutes. We were just getting our other rods rigged up and casted out for the first couple of times with the live night crawler. And uh, this rod started going off right next to Jay while she was on that rock. A really nice channel catfish, probably about three and a half, maybe four pounds, but a perfect eating size oh, fish. Yeah. We're super pumped. You can see that piece of cut shad right there. Nice way to start the day off. And uh, so we're gonna throw him in the cooler, get this thing rigged back up, cast it back out, hopefully catch some more. Whoa! Fish on! Fish on! Dang, this fish is fighting hard. Woo! Oh, wow! All right, we came here for the catfish, but we're gonna stay for the bluegill. If the bluegill are biting, we should definitely be keeping some bluegill. I know, that's a big one too. Yeah, it's a really nice one. I mean, that's one of the biggest ones we've caught all spring and summer long. Ah! That is a monster. <laughs> all right, let's throw him in the cooler and let's, I guess, catch some bluegill and some catfish today. Heck yeah, let's do that. There we go. Oh my goodness. Dang. That's another nice one. And these guys are fighting hard. That's so fun. He's on there. Oh gosh. Is this real? It's real. You got him? You got him? Where is he? Is he swimming towards the ocean? Oh, he's there. He's there. He's there. behind a bush. I feel him. I feel him. Whoa. Oh, there he That's is. A it's a bass? That's no a bass. way. No way. Whoa. No way. We just caught a bass on a piece of cut shed. Ah! Oh, get him, Jay. Oh my goodness. What the heck? All right, definitely was not expecting to catch this guy on cut bait. That's so crazy. Yeah, and it appears he's been on the line for a very long time because if you take a look down in his gullet, that yeah. circle hook is like buried down in his stomach. So we're about to make a lot of you guys happy today. We're actually going to be keeping this bass. We're going to add him to the catch and cook little smorgasbord we have going on in the cooler. Because <laughs> that fish is definitely not going to make it. Oh, that sucks. And he's a good eating size. If you're going to keep a bass, I would definitely say you keep him like under two pounds. Yeah. When you get over two pounds, it kind of get, you know, kind of weird. Yeah. But that right there, he'll be some good eating and he definitely won't be going to waste. If we throw him back, he's going to die Probably instantly. Probably going to die, yeah. yeah. So let's get him unhooked and uh, let's get back out there and see if maybe we can catch some more catfish. <laughs> since that's what we're mainly after. Yeah. There we go. There we go. Another bluegill fighting like crazy. My goodness, wow. Dang, these are really nice bluegill. It has been nonstop action at this spot. We've caught bluegill, we've caught catfish, we've caught bass. 
we're just catching everything right now. <laughs> I know it's hard to keep a bait in the water. I, I mean, know. I mean, between getting the catfish rods re rigged and <gasps> us casting out catching these bluegill, it's non stop. And that's another good one. Heck Big old yeah. hand sized bluegill. It's going to be a smorgasbord tonight. Oh, yeah, we're eating good tonight. A bunch of good food. <laughs> let's get him in the cooler and let's catch another one. I'm really looking forward to one of these rods going off again and getting another bill channel cat. I know. I really want to catch catfish. I'm on. I'm on. Doubles. <laughs> yes. Big old double bluegills. These are big guys. What an awesome treat being able to come out here and catch some big old bluegills, catfish, and bass all in the same spot on the same baits. That is crazy. Doubles. Those are big ones. Awesome. Way to go, Jay. Way to slam. We're doing big things. Big things out here today. Oh shoot! Oh shoot! He's over there! Oh my god! Is that a big one? I can't tell you! That was pretty big! He's he, all the way over there! Okay, just keep pressure on him, keep pressure on him. He swam in towards us. We couldn't tell if he had fish or not. What is he doing? Is that a catfish? You going to the line? Okay, good, 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 good. Whoa! Yeah, it's a good one. It's a good one. <laughs> Come on up, baby. Oh yeah, Woo! another nice one. Nice channel cat. Holy bring him to the bank. 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 <laughs> yeah! Woo! Woo! We're on the catfish board again. Yeah. Wow, that is one crazy looking catfish. He's like got scoliosis or something. Yeah, got, I don't know, poor guy. <laughs> he's got a big old meat head. He ain't really skinny or nothing. He's, no? just, he's just weird looking. He kind of fought weird too. I know, he bit it and he swam to the bank and we couldn't really tell if she had a fish or not or if it was just her bro. Oh, oh, oh my god. Oh my gosh, is he still there? Yo, my rod almost got yanked in the water. Whoa, Whoa. what was that? Hold on a second. Oh my gosh, that was crazy. I almost lost my rod. <laughs> <laughs> we better get back out there. I know, it seems like a school has moved in. That is a really nice catfish. And he too, like that bass, he got that thing choked. Now you can't see in there, but Circle Hook did not do its job and hook him in the corner of the mouth. Hey. He choked that thing. Oh well, he's going <laughs> in the cooler. Let's catch another one, Jay. Fish, 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 fish. Feels pretty good. It was pretty good. Yes. Cole's hooked up with a big one. It's another catfish. Get off the rocks. Oh gosh, he's pulling. Oh, is that a bass? What? No way, is that a bass? I don't think it's a catfish. I think it's another, it's another bass. No way. Come here. Come here. It's another bass. You <laughs> going like this. What in the world? What the heck? <laughs> no, it's another bass and he swallowed the hook like the last one. Are you serious? I'm serious. Oh, oh my gosh. What do these bass do when eating these cut shad? They must be really hungry. <laughs> That's crazy. I guess fish out here are starving for some food. Dang it, I hate that he swallowed it like that, but whatever. It's another fish, another bass on the cut shad. Choked it down in there. What's up with these circle hooks not hooking them in the corner of the mouth? I don't know. Oh well. Another bass for the cooler. It's going to make some of y'all's day that you're always hounding us in the comment section. Why are you not keeping those bass? Well, it's just because we normally just like to release them because we normally like to eat bluegill and catfish. But I guess we're going to keep some bass today and uh, cook them up with the rest. Are we hooked up? Hooked up. Hooked up. He's swimming towards me. Is it another bass or a catfish? This, I think this is a catfish. It's a, what is that, a drum? It's a drum! What the heck? What? Oh, come on! It's a big old blue-eyed drum. 
That is not exactly what we were after. Well, we'll just add him to the species list. We're yeah. literally catching everything today. But we're probably not going to add him to the cooler. No, I don't think we're going to eat this guy. Yeah, drum are not the best at eating fish. Regardless of what you people say, they're not that great <laughs> in our opinion. And it doesn't look like he swallowed it too bad. Looks like we can get that hook out and release him without him dying. So, hey, at least we got another fish. <laughs> we'll take it. Well, things have taken a turn for the worse out here for the last hour or so. We went from getting non-stop action to absolutely zero action. We haven't caught a thing. No more bluegill, no more catfish, no more bass, no more nothing. And it could correlate to that we ran out of shad for bait, but we put some big old juicy night crawlers out and chunked them out there, but we just couldn't get anything to eat them mm -hmm. out there in the depths. And our bluegill, they just, they swam off somewhere too. And it could be also the wind picked up a lot. Yeah. Um, we've had some crazy winds, some crazy waves crashing into the bank here. But with that all being said, we're not leaving this place empty handed. We no. caught a lot of fish today. We got a wide variety of fish, even though we came here targeting catfish. That's just kind of how it works sometimes, especially when you bring night crawlers yeah. into the equation <laughs> because everything will eat a night crawler. Do a quick little recap, show you guys some of the fish we caught today. Got a big old catfish. Look at this guy. Woo! Nice catfish there. And we got a couple of nice bass. Look like twins, honestly. They both just gobbled up that circle. Look like that. They look like twins. <laughs> kind of long and skinny, but they'll eat. They'll nice eat. bass. <laughs> and then topped it off with some nice hand-sized bluegill. Oh yeah. Look at that. I'm excited about them. Really nice guys. These are probably your favorite of the three fish we caught today, right? Oh yeah, I love bluegill. <laughs> That's what's great about catching all these different species is you know we're not gonna be bored with our taste buds when we eat them later on tonight. Yeah. Anyways, we're gonna pack up all our gear. We'll catch you guys back at the house. All right, we just made it back home. We are ready to start cleaning up today's catch. We're actually gonna start off by cleaning one of these largemouth bass that we caught because you know, this is kind of a, a, not a really new thing for our channel, but something you'll haven't seen in a very long time is just clean a largemouth bass. So we got them here on the table. We're gonna clean them with an electric fillet knife. It's the Bubba corded electric fillet knife. And basically when you're cleaning bass, you clean them like you clean everything else, clean them just like crappie. What we'll do is we'll start making the cut behind the pectoral fin right here. And then we'll run the knife all the way down the spine, all the way down there to the tail. He's a long skinny sucker. Flip it over and we'll take the fillet right off the skin. Now that the fillet is off, we'll take the bones out, the ribs out. There it is. There is a fresh largemouth bass fillet. Looks good, perfect size. Thumb here in the bowl. All right, so here's a nice channel catfish. Kind of do the same sort of deal, make a cut around the head. Take the fillet off the skin. And that looks pretty good. We'll trim up the rest of that in the kitchen, but there is our channel catfish fillet. So you've seen us clean a largemouth, a catfish, and now we're gonna clean one of these bluegill. And again, we're just gonna fillet this guy. We're doing all fillets today. Peel that pectoral fin back. Cut way up here on the head. ribs out and boom a nicely nice done little beautiful little bluegill fillet we've got seven bluegill total so that's gonna be 14 bluegill fillets four big old channel catfish fillets and four bass fillets a good mix of fish and it's gonna be excellent when we cook it up for dinner tonight so i'm gonna get back to cleaning the rest of these fish and we'll catch you guys once we're completed with this step all right we're in the kitchen now and we are about to start cooking some of our fish that we caught today we're actually going to be cooking only the largemouth bass fillets. I got them on this little plate here. I've got them seasoned up with some spicy seasonings. You know the deal. I got the Slappy Mama. I got the Black and Redfish Magic on there. Going to make them super spicy, super good. Uh, just a, you know, just kind of a simple meal tonight. Nothing too crazy. I've also got um, a bowl of some chicken flavored rice here. This stuff is the bomb. You know, I can pretty much eat uh, chicken flavored rice with every meal and it especially pairs well with spicy fish. And honestly guys, I'm pretty excited to be eating some largemouth. I mean, you know, normally we throw largemouth bass back into the lake. They're kind of just like our sport fish. We enjoy 
to catch and release them. You know, we don't want to keep every fish that we catch all the time. If we did that, we would have this house just full to the brim with fish. It'd be, it'd be crazy. But anyways, I am very excited for dinner. I'm excited to try these spicy bass fillets out. It's been forever since I've had uh, fresh largemouth bass fillets, and uh, I just have a good feeling it's going to be good. I wonder where Jay's at. Jay is in the back room with Cypress kind of getting him winded down for the night. It's kind of late and getting close to bedtime, but we'll definitely uh, see what Cypress is up to here in just a moment. But first, we got to get dinner made. So let's get the bass on the skillet, let's get everything put together, and then we'll do the official Colin Jay taste test. Jay, what's that little guy doing over there? He's watching his new pet fish. It's so cute. <laughs> Let's go investigate this. For those of y'all that watched our last video, we caught Baby Cypress, his very own pet fish, and they are doing fantastic. They've been in the tank now for a couple of days. They fully acclimated. Let's get a close-up look at them. Cypress, you love watching your fish? Look at how beautiful they are. They've been doing so well in the tank. We got that long-eared sunfish right there. He is just a stunner. Look how beautiful that fish is. All these guys are getting along, they're not fighting, they've been eating well, they haven't destroyed the rock reef, everything is good. Look at this big guy. They're coming to check out the camera. They know that I am their daddy now and that I bring all the food. <laughs> and that's exactly what you want when you have pet fish, right? Right. You want them to know who their daddy is. <laughs> Who's your daddy, Who's, Cypress? Who's your daddy, Cy? Who's your daddy? <laughs> Who's your daddy? Huh? Baby C is winding down for the night. This is like the perfect spot for him to sit in his little bouncer. Chill. He can just chill. He can just <laughs> chill. Look at his fishies. We don't know if we're gonna add any more fish to the tank or not though. They kind of take up a lot of space, don't they? They yeah. They do. And I feel like if we put some more fish in the tank, Jay, that those guys won't be super nice today. Yeah, they'll probably attack him. They'll probably attack him. Beat him up. Yeah, they're buddies right now. But we don't want to see have to have baby sheep watch these uh, fish fight each other. Oh no! No violence, right, happy buddy? Happy fish only. Nice happy fish, fish only. <laughs> Speaking of happy fish, these fish over here are gonna make us happy. They are probably done. I need to pay attention to these guys to make sure they don't burn. But that looks pretty good. Got them blackened on that one side, and I think that our rice, yeah, our rice should be done. Let's take that off the burner, actually. Let that kind of cool off. Turn that off. And yeah, I think those fish are done. Let's get those off of the skillet. Let's get them onto this here plate. And uh, let's make some magic happen, Jay. You ready to eat this bass? Heck yeah. Heck yeah. <laughs> Cypress, you ready to eat that bass? <laughs> he said, I'm gonna eat these hands. You want some of these hands, Dad? <laughs> All right, Jay, dinner is served. Check mm, that out. That looks good. Just doing the fish and the rice tonight. We didn't get too crazy. We're probably missing a vegetable, I honestly, Kind of forgot I had these. I just picked these just a minute ago. That would have been good. These are those <laughs> yard long green beans. I got the purple Thai beans and the big old green beans. I love green beans, guys. I could literally have green beans with every dinner plate just like I could have the chicken flavored rice. But that is looking <laughs> pretty dang good. Oh yeah. Because I know that that stuff's good. But that bass, that bass though, I'm just gonna go in and get a little nibble. What do you think? Go for it. Okay, we're gonna do just bass with the blackened redfish magic slash sleppy mama combo. I did one side with each one. That looks dang good. It also looks pretty dang hot. We're gonna go for it. Hopefully I don't burn with taste buds off. Mm. That is how it's done. That is so good. Really? It's really good. You know, bass is a completely different texture from like bluegill or catfish. It's kind of like got the texture of crappie, but really it's its own animal. Um, that is really good. A cans and I, you know, even though we, you know, practice mostly catch and release with large enough bass, anytime we, you know, injure a fish by getting a gill hooked or gut hooked with a giant circle hook, you know, it's going to be going on the stringer, going in the cooler, and then into our bellies. Super good. We definitely don't want any fish to go to waste. Let's get a little bite of the bass with the rice, the little combo here that we dreamed up, that we designed up here tonight. That's going to be really hot. Mmm. Nothing better than that. So Jay just informed me that she has a killer headache. She's super tired. I'm exhausted. She's exhausted. <laughs> what are you so exhausted for? Uh, I guess just from being a mom and a YouTuber. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, Fishing all day. <laughs> the YouTube life is a crazy life. It's a good life because you get to catch fish and you get to video it and you get to express your mm. feelings about your fish catch. Oh, that's really good. To cool. all of y'all. You love that? Oh, yeah. 
Dang, that's super good. I mean, super good considering how sad you were that we had to keep those bass. I know. We love largemouth. We love largemouth. We love all bass. Mm -hmm. We love all fish. But we just, you know, we love catch and release largemouth. There's just something about it. Yeah. That's really good. I know, it's really the good The texture is really nice. I know. It's kind of like striper. I guess largemouth mm -hmm. and striper have a similar texture. And striper mm -hmm. are like our favorite fish to eat out of all of them. Woo! Seasoned up perfectly. Yeah. I mean, I love that combo of black and red fish magic right here. There it is, Chef Paul Prude Home. I don't know him, but he makes black and red fish magic and it's mm. good. So good. That fish and rice dinner was exactly what we needed to wrap up today's video. It was so good. <laughs> it was great to come full circle, you know, going out and catching the fish, cleaning the fish, and then eating the fish. Cypress, you are adorable. Look at this guy. <laughs> Look at how adorable he is. He's so wild right now. <laughs> He's really wanting to crawl. He's trying so hard to crawl. And we are not ready for that. No, we're not. Our house, we have stuff everywhere. <laughs> There's hooks everywhere. We are not ready for this boy to get into his dog food. He's going to be a mess when he starts crawling, but you know, We'll just let it happen when it happens. <laughs> but guys, this is where we're gonna end today's episode. We hope y'all enjoyed hanging out with us and enjoyed the catfishing. If you would like to see more catfishing content, please let us know down in the comments section. And if you enjoyed today's episode, do us a huge favor by hitting the thumbs up button and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on any of our future fishing adventures. We're Colin J and Baby C, and we'll catch you on the next one. Bye.